This is the final result of stage one in modeling the chamfered post table. The, at this stage, there are no, there is no joinery, and also the chamfers are not included on the posts. So we want to complete that in, in this stage two, the joinery and the chamfers. And we'll start with the chamfers. And the best thing is to bring a copy of the post out here so we can work on those details, those chamfer details. And once we do it in this one post, then all the others will have the chamfer as well. So to start out, as usual, we need some guidelines here. And there's a guideline 3, 3 and 3 sixteenths up from the bottom. There's another guideline that is that comes up here and starts another chamfer at seven seven and one sixteenth. And then I know there's another guideline that comes up from the bottom here to stop this upper chamfer at 18 and 7 eighths. So that's that's up here. And each of these guidelines needs a chamfer that's one quarter inch above it for the for the end ends of the chamfers. So one here that goes up a quarter of an inch and I need another one coming up here a quarter of an inch. Also the chamfer is a quarter of an inch wide so I need on the green axis a quarter of an inch that way and a quarter of an inch this way. Now I'm ready to start outlining the chamfers, edit component, and get the line tool and come down come down here with a line. That's one side of the chamfer. Then the other side of the chamfer comes up this and it comes up at the same height as that. And then we need to come up to the point, this triangle, and also come with a line back here in the hidden inside there, point to point with a line, an edge, and also we need an edge across this bottom here. And if I look in x-ray, I should see a face now that outlines the face of that chamfer. And that looks good. So I can now uh, use the erase tool to expose that, that chamfer. That looks good. Come up here we're going to start another chamfer so I need a line from here to here and then I want to have a line on that other side of the chamfer right starts there and comes up to there and then create the little pointed head and then come across inside and we need to do the same down here at this chamfer end 
and a line across. And again, this look an x-ray and see if we've got a face inside there. Yes. And we've got a little face up here. So I can delete that edge. Delete this edge right out here, exposing the, the chamfer. But it's face color is reversed and I'm going to reverse it again reverse okay so there's our chamfers and close component get rid of these guides And you can see that we've got one corner and all these other copies of the component also have the chamfers, but we need those chamfers in all corners. And rather than do that whole exercise again and again and again, there's an easier way of copying it. And to do that, we need to look at a top view. top view of this copied post and I want camera parallel projection and I want to see where my chamfer is so I'm going to turn on x-ray there's our chamfer that's already done in x-ray and what I want to do is copy that right around to all four corners to use that We'll use the copy rotate tool here, the rotate tool, but first I want to edit the component and select the existing chamfer, chamfers, plural. That selected both the middle and the bottom chamfer. And I'm going to grab the rotate tool and I want this rotate tool to be in the center of this square and the easiest way to find where to put that is to just hover over the midpoint there or hover over the midpoint there and then drag over here and it should see how it infers the center and I can click and then important to tap control key or option key see the plus sign that means we'll we'll copy uh, but I need to I forgot to select or did I select I did select so I got to do that again get the thing and infer the midpoint there it is. Tap control key and then come over to the corner and click and then rotate and that takes one copy over to this corner and we can click on that corner and now I could copy that a couple more times or the easiest thing to do is hit and type an X three that's times three and return or enter and that makes two more copies to put on the other corners it just repeats that x3 repeated the process in an array so it looks like we've got it complete uh, close component turn off x-ray and this turn off parallel projection and look at what we've got here okay so there's now chamfers around on all four corners but we got to delete a few things to expose them edit component get the eraser tool 
and click those lower corners. Oops, let me do that again. Click this corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that one's done. So click this edge, click that edge, and let me come around here to the back corner, click that edge. Now all the chamfers are exposed and you can see them duplicated on every component in our model. I can close the component and erase the copy. I'll stop here on stage two and in the next stage three we'll create the mortise and tenon joints for all of these components.